Okay, so I shuffled and um, I just pre pulled the three. Um, the two that came out with each other were the two of swords in the upright and the full card in the upright. They came out um, back to back together and um, what came out separated from them was the king of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so this is a uh, circles. This is um <clears throat> two different energies that uh, have been cycling with each other for a while. Okay, but see this king of pentacles in the reverse. This is a very um, underhanded energy, okay? Um, operating for self-gain and can be very malicious and cutthroat in their ways, okay? Um, but basically, they're, they live for money. They live for power, for wealth. They hold things for that, okay? And over here in the um, upright and above, ironically, is, um, like I said, the two of swords and the fool. So this is something, this is the energy over here that this energy down here thought they had somebody blinded, okay? They thought they had an individual blinded and um, they were stopping um, some sort of venture for this person here. Okay, because um, they can see that they had their guard up. Okay, and um, that's just the thing. See, the two of swords isn't just red in one way. It's red in what you see. Okay, and what I'm saying is not only was the guard up or the guard is up with this individual here. But this guard, that this this boundary, this guard, this is a form of self-protection. They're cross. They're a fighter. Okay? They fight for what they believe in. They don't ever stop at anything that they do. Whatever they start, they complete. Whether they see it coming or not, they feel it. That's why they have their guard up. But that guard isn't a form of weakness, it's a form of protection. See, it's a double-edged sword. They're ready for any and everything. And this is what this energy has failed to realize. Nine of Cups. Honor, truth, ready to fulfill. We have an energy that's here in the Nine of Cups, okay? They're honorable, they're truthful, they're ready to fulfill, they're ready to offer. This, this is, um, clarify this Nine of Cups. Honorable and true like a knight. It's the Knight of Pentacles, by the way. Sorry. Um, I'm reading the cards. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the outright. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Honor, honorable, truthful, 
offer okay the same energy as a knight would be okay knights aren't all that you have to remember you know um knights are the ones who actually go in and they you know battle they they put their all into what they're fighting for you know um so this is also oh, okay so this is also a fighter just like this one they're not the same energies there's three energies on this table right now um the knight of pentacles yeah the knight of pentacles is it has a, a nine of cups okay energy that's why that came out when i clarified it okay the nine of cups is the knight of pentacles they're coming in and they do have offerings okay not only do they have cups that they're willing to you know put that work in with okay towards something you know this is a person that um knows how to do for themselves they they're on their own you know they are very very creative they know how to you know <laughs> you know like the turning water into wine type of thing um they know how to do that like um they know how to work with what they got basically and they're not underhanded the um things that are in reverse are the four of pentacles and what i'm seeing with the four of pentacles and the ten of wands is that um this this knight <laughs> this knight could be a little selfish okay um and the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm seeing that um, there there seems to be something that is uh that's that's weighing on him, okay? Because the the ten of wands they're in the reverse. Something that um they're they're not trying to let go of normally this is I, I would feel like they're trying to relinquish you know this extra baggage but this is something that somebody is having a hard time with letting go whatever this is okay that ten of wands that's in the reverse and that's along with that four of pentacles in the reverse this is something that somebody is having a hard time with letting go somebody um could be penny pinching right about now maybe they took on some extra responsibilities and didn't foresee this coming something is hindering this energy clarify this ten of wands and four of pentacles please justice came out in the reverse and on the top of the deck interesting Nope, it's not a read. But that's not a coincidence. Um, it's not a read, but that's not a coincidence. If she comes out again, then I'll read her. But other than that, no. Um, yeah, something's not right. Something could be going on in the justice system, or there could be something that's unfavorable that feels unjustified um, for this energy down here. That's probably why um, 
like I say, the nights they are running like kind of behind. Um, because like I said, this one's coming out. They um have offer, they have messages, you know, they're working. Um, they have growth. See the creativity is coming right from the head of the horse and the um the knight themselves. Okay. This is very creative energy. This is very giving, gifted, you know, working. But um, there is something that's going on within. This is a life situation. Okay. It's not even uh, caught up in their head type of energy that I'm feeling over here. I'm sensing that something happened. Like in life that is really putting a burden, a hindrance on this individual. Okay. They really feel as though something isn't justified, something's not fair, something something isn't right, or something won't work out. I mean, it could have to do with the Queen of Swords, but <sighs> let's move on. Let's talk about some more of this, um, what else do we need to know with this energy up here? Um... I'm trying to find out more about this um, this fool. Somebody who has been guarded but protecting themselves. Protected. A protected fool that runs in the light and swims there as well. Swims in secrets, runs with the lights. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... We have the two of pentacles crossing over this. Okay, so this uh, individual feels like um, okay, because it was like this and it went like this. Okay, so they're not trying to go through another cycle. They're not trying to juggle a situation. They're looking for a bright. Uh, they're 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 trying to look forward to a, a brighter tomorrow okay um and of course my natural habit of you know grabbing the cards and everything when I did and I laid it down it crossed over both they're not trying to be stuck they're looking forward to a better tomorrow they're not trying to be stuck in a car in like a a, a a lesson already learned. They're not trying to be stuck in a situation. Okay. This individual here is um they're really focused on their pentacle. Okay. Um future pentacle just because they're looking forward instead of back. Okay? So this is a growth that I'm seeing with this full card and the two of swords energy and the two of pentacles. This is growth. This individual, they they grew. They decided to take a chance and move forward. They're growing in life. They're looking forward to a better tomorrow. That's what's going on. And they're watching their pentacles. They're they're following their pentacles now. They're um they're not trying to be stuck. They're not trying to go back and whatever was they're trying to go into a new anything else with this uh full card up here what's going on um we have the ace of cups in the reverse over this night. They don't feel as though they have a... They feel as though they have a lower chance. A lower handle on something. Losing a grip. Not being gift. 
not being gifted, fulfillment being relinquished. They don't see anything going on with this energy up here. That's what um is going on with this this Knight of Pentacles. This is what they're um this is what they're feeling. Page of Wands. They could be feeling like um a very lustful sexual nature to them. Okay. Towards this this energy up here. Because again it came out with the clarifying cards and it's touching this again and it's connecting the both. So this is somebody that feels as though they're not able to have something but they have a desire for something. Wanting what you can't have. Queen of Wands. And you got right. They could be connected to a Queen of Wands. This page of wands could be connected with a Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, either sent by a Queen of Wands or you know actually dealing with a queen of wands energy okay or this person could you know this could be a, a queen of wands you know that's a fighter like a knight coming in slow but full force knowing what they have to offer they could be a knight, but they could carry the energy of a queen. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay. They carry the energy of a queen of wands. But they don't feel like it. They don't... They This is uh, an individual that... Because this Ace of Cups is in the reverse, this is why that's coming out like this. Okay. So, whatever has gone on in the past or currently, maybe, depending on whose situation this is it could be going on now it could have been going on in the past it could be going on in the future some way some shape or form but this king of pentacles no this knight of pentacles okay knight of pentacles energy very truthful very honorable honorable but they're not seeing a fulfillment up here connected with this energy at the top of the board at the top of the desk they want to be connected. But I see them in a very um, sensual, sexual nature. Okay? And, you know, they have the, the Queen of Wands air about them. Um, fiery passion. But see, you're a Knight of Pentacles and you don't show this. You don't show this. This is how you come off. But this is how you are. You don't show this side. They could be afraid to. They they probably they they probably feeling like it's not going to be uh, reciproc reciprocated. Re yeah. Okay. Tongue tied. Stop it. Tongue tied. Somebody could be getting tongue tied around somebody. When people start stuttering, you already know. Oh, I make you nervous. Okay. <laughs> All right, they're, they're scary shit. There's one or the other. Um, so this could be a masculine that's in their feminine energy, you know? 
they um ah. they work for what they got they know how to manifest their shit but they they want you know they want they want somebody to come here <laughs> that's what they want that's the energy they're in the come here type of energy okay look oh she came out yeah they're in a come here type of energy and they're afraid <laughs> they're afraid of a queen of swords <laughs> they're afraid that they're going to get a queen of swords that's why either they're afraid to get a queen of swords energy from this individual this energy that i'm having on the top of the board right here or they're dealing with a queen of swords that they are detaching from okay take it however it resonates with you Okay, so we have a king of swords in the reverse, and that's over the king of pentacles in the reverse. This is the same energy. Yeah, so we have a very harsh individual, okay, that is very materialistic. And, um,. Basically, they don't care what they say because they feel as though they can. <sighs> okay, what are we clarifying now? What are we talking about? What else do we need to know about the situation? Anybody on the board is up next. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready to go to sleep. What's going on with the situation? Okay, so the Six of Pentacles just came out, right? So this Knight of Pentacles is actually dealing with a Queen of Swords energy. Okay? And I'm seeing that they want out of that situation they're not liking it it's not equal um share within this this connection okay that so that queen of swords is clarified right now it's not part of this energy up here it is something that this individual down here is actually attached to um they're afraid that it's um yeah they're trying to um it's not equal it's unbalanced and they feel like they're stuck in a they're stuck with somebody who is um not equal not um not on their level okay somebody that takes more than they give they're not very um sherry you know this person could have been dealing with somebody who was always taking taking advantage of them taking from them take it however you want but this is an individual that has been dealing with somebody who's always been taking taking and taking and i'm thinking that they got sick and tired of it they could have been used for you know this sexual uh, desire that you know they come with somebody could be taken from them in order to stop them from being able to you know stop trying to figure it out <laughs> the more I try to figure it out the tighter I get into that damn energy and I'm sick nope I'm not doing it This is a lover situation down here. 
okay but it's not in the upright and it's not stuck it's um it's actually coming apart that's why it's like kind of you see how it's crooked it's kind of a uh, caddy corner diagonal so it's not stuck sideways and it's not upright it's not in the reverse but it is falling apart so this is the situation that's falling apart like right before somebody dies the fuck <laughs> look we're not doing all this we're not doing all this oh shit okay Twenty six oh two. That was my song. Oh, you're not going to do it? I'm going to fuck you up and make you sit here longer. Okay, fine. And I'll read the goddamn cards. Secrets are coming out. Slowly. A harsh message and a two of cups okay okay keep going harsh message about a partnership truth is coming to light okay and we have the ace of swords clarifying that truth coming to light about a partnership a harsh message about a partnership that is slowly coming in with secrets being revealed with the eight of cups in the upright temperance card page of swords two of cups in the reverse yeah so i'm thinking it's this the lover situation that's falling apart here um this could be a work relationship that um was not was not um warranted from the start the fuck? um ace of wands and the nine of wands in the reverse Okay, so this could have secrets are coming out about um, a work situation, and it's it's not um, good. It's about um, past relations that could have been at the job, relationships at the job that were not um they weren't business related they were getting business done but it wasn't work business Whew. somebody wanted a high priestess in their head with the nine of swords but the nine of swords is in the reverse so the higher priestess is not in her head high priestess is a high priestess she sees the shit coming and basically she just flows with the damn universe queen of pentacles queen of pentacles could have been jealous of a high priestess could have wanted this high priestess to um be tormented by something possibly by uh whatever the situation is maybe i think a high priest uh, a queen of pentacles might be trying to contact or get in or or relay some information to a high priestess
they want their world to fall apart. World is in reverse. This is what they want for that high priestess. That will be a victory for this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. They feel as though this will be a victory. They'll have one up over with the Six of Wands in the upright. And be able to move forward on in life. This Queen of Pentacles is trying to have... Um, is trying to exchange energies in a way trying to make a high priestess look like um a magician in the reverse somebody who is uh negative somebody who is uh creating for self okay Creating for self, not really trying to help people, just trying to, you know, bring themselves up in life. But this is that energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles, she had an opportunity to grow. Okay, but they chose not to. They chose to stay where they are. Okay, attacking people. There's a Knight of Wands in the reverse coming in trying to throw somebody off. Alright. Ooh, fuck. The card is damaged, okay? It's not at its best. It's been beat up. There's something that's within this Knight of Wands. Again, the fire stands out, but this time it's standing out for a whole different reason. This is something inside of this, this, this Knight of Wands in the reverse. Then they're coming in, okay, with a uh, undertone of the Seven of Wands energy, okay? They are fighting off something. So, they're trying to... Uh, also throw somebody off so they can do be doing the same um that's that's this fucking queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is a counterpart i, I don't care when she comes out in the deck she's the counterpart of the king of pentacles so if she's with the king of pentacles and he's in a negative um mindset but she comes out in the upright but she's doing a lot of things she's not possibly realizing what's going on okay and she could have actually got in damage from this king of pentacles in the reverse whether it's you know verbally or physically and so now she's trying to pass off this shit to um somebody else anything else for this reading because i'm not trying to make this any more longer than what it is Anything else that needs to come out for this reading on the board? Oh, oh my goodness. Why the hell do 
a yawn. I've been yawning all day. Not just now. I've been yawning at the gym. Oof. My girl. Yeah, tower. <laughs> but it's not coming out. But I've been getting that all throughout the shuffles when I was shuffling. The double and the tower. I mean, they're there, but they're not falling down the deck yet. Which means either they already passed or they didn't or they're 